All right, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. I am really thrilled with this particular segment. You know, I always love our artist segments, but this one in particular is, frankly, a longtime family friend. And so I'm going to uh, say good evening and welcome to Jerry Levkov, uh, who is a, an artist in uh, the Northwest Bronx. Nice to have you with us, Jerry. Hi, nice to be here. And nice to see you again uh, after all these many years. Um, we have a long connection, a family connection, and that's nice. Um, let's just talk about uh, my Bronx friend uh, displaying at Yoho Artist Studios. Uh, you are um, very excited about this particular facility, and that's interesting to me. It's just across the border over there on uh, Nepperhan Avenue. Tell me about why Yoho Studios is so special. Well, uh, it originated um, for much of the uh, 20th century as the largest carpet making facility in the world. And um, the, the uh, Alexander Smith had invented a technique that increased the uh, the speed of producing carpets tremendously, and he he patented all over the world, released uh, his uh, permission for I think twenty cents a yard. So he made a lot of money. All right. And, and how did we get to the, the the studios? Well, we got to the studio because about nineteen fifty four, in reaction to worker strikes, he left. He took the whole facility. Uh, I don't know, at that time, maybe there were 3,000 people employed with a big blow to the community, and he moved to Mississippi. Oh. And then the place was um, fallow, let's, let's say. For, for, for many years. And um, so then they, they um, uh, have 2005, they opened it as, an, as a, a studio, as an art studio. Yeah. I think um, 2005, maybe even before then, a woman wow. uh, who moved, an artist who moved in California, uh, rented the fifth floor, and she mm -hmm. called it uh, Yoho, uh, Yonkers, uh, north of right. Houston Street, and uh, <laughs> then she leased it is north properties, of and <laughs> then it grew into, I, I would say, 50 or 60. Why, why do you why do you like working there? Like what? What? What is well, the, good about the, that facility uh, for you? The, and your the studios are are uh, quite nice size. The lighting is good. There's a community of artists. You know, as I said, maybe fifty or sixty artists uh, in the building. All kinds: muralists, painters, sculptors. Um, there's a, a tat at least one, maybe two tattoo parlors <laughs> in and, the building. And, did you Mixed did you get a tattoo, to... Jerry? Did you get a tattoo? I I, I have not that. yet availed myself. Um, so I, I do want to say it's um, uh, located at five forty and five seventy eight Nepperhan Avenue, and artists um, should be um, interested certainly if they want to um, have a nice space, as Jerry has described. Let's talk about you as an artist. You um, have always been an artist, or it's something that um, no, frankly, later in your my, life. My career was as a chemistry professor. <laughs> I have a PhD in chemistry and I taught at Iona University for over 40 years. Oh, I, how did and I not know that? That's I had no idea that I I had I was always interested in art, but I, but not as a an artist. I had no idea that I had any skills whatsoever until about the age 50. Um and at that time, there was an evening course in drawing. It was taught by a nun who was an artist. And I enrolled in that and found I had some skill. And she was a very good teacher. And, and so there it was. So um, I, I want to move it ahead because we want to show some of your stuff. Um, okay. uh, Anderson can get the, the magic working and we can uh, take a look. Um, so this um, is a black and white. This is a painting that you did? This is a pencil drawing. Pencil drawing, wow. Taken from the uh, balcony of my son's apartment in Soho. Well, wow. put the, Anderson, can you put that back up? Go ahead. Looking north. Wow. You can see the Empire State Building, and uh, it, it just wow. intrigued me uh, the view from there. It's it's the the fact that it's a pencil drawing. 
I would need forty thousand rulers to get those straight lines. So, so good, good for you. Um, and uh, do you work in pencil a lot, or you you? Um, I I, was... I uh, primarily work in pastel. Uh -huh. Also, watercolor. and we're going to see some of those in a moment. Yeah, all, uh, also watercolor and and pencil. Let's let's see another one. Speaking of pastels, this is in, in Bronx Park, actually at the Rock Garden. In the Botanical Garden. In the Botanical yeah, Garden. Let, let's let's keep it up a little longer so we can enjoy it a little more. Uh, and um, we, we, so you go on location to do it, or do you take a photograph and then do the painting from uh, the the um, uh, you no, know, I, photograph? I both, or? But, but more frequently, it's from photographs. Uh, mm -hmm. That work is a pastel, by the way. Yes, uh, and um, do do you um, anything you like? You take you you decide to paint, or do you find that you have trends of things you like? Like nature, uh, those were two like, landscapes. Yeah, I, I do landscapes. Um, I like to to paint people, unusual things that that I run across. I'll mm -hmm. photograph. Um, I don't know. I don't have it up here, but there's a, a pastel I did of uh, a shelf of cheeses <laughs> that I saw in uh, in Italy, and I took a photograph of that. Uh, let's let's uh, run another one, um, Anderson. Let's see what we got here. Is this still life? Yeah. So this is this is a, this is a pastel of, of a still life. As mm -hmm. you can see. How uh, prolific are you? Like, do you do you paint every day now at this point? Um, and, and listen, let, let, let's be clear. You're an older man now, and, and this is probably among the healthiest things you could do, right? Well, yeah. You know, I'm retired. I go to the studio maybe four or five times a week. Uh -huh. um, sometimes, and recently, I've been stuck on a particular project. And uh, so uh, I haven't. Oh, for weeks, I've been working on this without much success. Oh, what, do, you, do you want to tell us what it is, or should we wait well, until it, it's done it, and then uh, we'll show it? I don't have any, anything to show. It's it's uh, four statues of dancers by Degas that wow. were exhibited together in a um, museum in uh, New England, in, in the Berkshires, that I saw. And, and, and why do you, why do you think it's not going well or you haven't achieved it yet? Um, <laughs> it it's just and it, I guess to capture the 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 uh, motion that he's captured oh. uh, has eluded me. All right. Um, well, I, I'm sure if you stick to it, you'll get at it, Anderson. Let's look at some more stuff. See, this is people also pastel. Who yeah. is this woman? I don't know. She was a model, and um, I just uh, went more abstract, as you can see. And and I like, you know, that it captures a, a kind of uh, exotic feeling about her. I, I um I'm I don't say concerned. I'm interested in the word abstract. It looks very realistic to me. And well, so we pop it up one more time. That'd be great. Um. I think the color um, of her hair, for example, is you know, it's not realistic. Well, you know, it captures. Um, there's emotion in it. There's you can I, yeah, grasp so. a personality in there. Um, it really um, is is wonderful. Let's um, let's see more. This is uh, Jerry Levkov, who's working out of the uh, Yoho Artist Studios. Look at this landscape. Beautiful. So this is from a trip maybe my third one to uh the um Gla uh, not glacier what's the name of the park it's, out, it's out west um, somewhere yosemite oh yosemite so it is out and west. that is half dome a famous uh mountain there at sunset this is a watercolor um many years ago if you could put that up again um the front of it, that sheer is what people climb technically, but that hump on the back, right? In the summer, they put up um, 
uh, uh, chain uh, chain stairway because it's oh, very so you can you can pull your way you up there. Pull yourself up. Did you did you do it? Did you I do did it? it with my son? Wow. Uh, Thirty years ago. Wow. We went up the back and then. All right. Maybe maybe we should. Oh, uh, I took this picture. Maybe maybe, you, maybe we should have a reunion and see if you can do it now. See if I can do it. <laughs> well, it's a twenty-one mile one day. Hike. Oh yeah, I'm not I guarantee doing. I can't do it. Now. Can't do it now. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can see another one. It's good, plenty. Of, this one I love, by the way. I thought this was great. This is a Bronx picture, if there ever was. Yeah, one. yeah. I did this many years ago. It's actually a, a gift to a relative, and. Uh, She's ha had many apartments and it's traveled with her. How how large a a, a piece is this? Um, uh, this is I would say about two feet. Two feet. Uh, so it's by about two feet. Yeah, it's wow. fairly large. <laughs> I'm doing it on and the it, screen. Yeah, that's that's yeah, and watercolor. That's just that's absolutely beautiful. Is there one more we could squeeze in, Anderson, before we uh, uh, wrap it up? Oh. So and who is this, this guy Another... is a model yeah and i was happy with the way it captured his uh sort of uh relaxation and maybe pensive mood mm -hmm. uh let's um just wrap it up and talk about the um 19th annual artists open studio event which is coming up may 20th and 21st at the Yoho Artist Studios. Uh, I got some names of some of the other artists, Alexander Smith, Carpet Mills is the former facility, but Emily St Stedman, uh, Whitney yeah. Snyder, George M. Gutierrez, Marco Gosar, all those people are going to dis be displayed and others. These are the people that you paint with that you that are there all the time. Is that what it is? Yeah, and, and there are some terrific painters. Uh, much better than me people oh would, no 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 we would well, never we would never I'm measure being, like that I'm not i'm not being humble all right um you know the, you mentioned some of them they're about as i said 50 to 60. Wow. i don't know how many uh, will be Tremendous. this play, but a good number of them um there's a shuttle bus on saturday from the railroad station Saturday is the 20th, right? The 20th. From yeah. the railroad station, like from Spike and Dival, that station? No, no, in Yonkers. Oh, the Yonkers station. The Yonkers. Uh, oh, a shuttle bus. So if you get up to the yeah. Yonkers station, then you can go to the. Well, that. Yeah. Um, Jerry, thanks for opening our eyes and our minds to um, Yoho Artist Studios. And thank you for reaching out to me um, to reconnect after uh, so many years. And, um, uh, you know, congratulations on the great work and hope everybody will come out May 20th to see the uh, see the show. That's great. Could I just mention that if they go, go to the website, uh, yoho.org, I believe it is. Well, we'll, we'll put it up on the screen and that way uh, people will be able to see it. Yeah, thank uh, you. Listen, we, we got to run. Jerry, thanks okay. so much. Love to the family. And uh, we'll thank see you, you around you town. Too. All right, folks, uh, that will do it for the Bronx Buzz. Thanks to Jerry, of course. And also to uh, Rebecca Lewis from City and State New York, who does such an amazing job. And uh, you know what I always say? I'll see you next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.